Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your weekly astrology. Woo! We got a week and a half ahead. We've got a full moon in Aries. Yeah, it's going to be fiery. It's going to be frisky. There's all sorts of fabulous ahead. Here's your weekly astrology. Okay, Pisces, this is an important week. Chiron, the wounded healer, is leaving your sign, but he is popping back in on the 26th. Well, he's left your sign, but he's popping back in on the 26th uh, to give you one last go at any old wounds that you need to heal, any kind of um, important message that you haven't dealt with. And it's all about shifting your vibration, healing, moving forward, having a breakthrough. I mean, it was tough when Chiron was in your sign, uh, but also, as I say, deeply healing. So it's kind of, you know, an interesting energy. Uh, It's very liberating when he's not there because you can like move on and you can feel more grounded in yourself. But when Chiron nips back into your sign, this is your last chance to deal with this energy for another 48 years. And it's about the opportunity to step up into a new vibration, to recreate yourself, to move on, to shed a skin in some way. So be aware of that. Anyway, generally this week, there's a lot of positive stuff going on. Mercury is trying Mars. You you are so psychic and intuitive this week. And also other people are picking up on this kind of your intensity and being drawn to it. You're very much a magnet this this week. Make sure you're a magnet for the, the good people's. Don't let your milkshake draw the wrong vibe of people to you. If they come towards you, put some boundaries up quick. Because this week it's difficult for you to have boundaries because you're so kind of tuned in to everything. Fortunately, the full moon is grounding you on the 25th. You feel like secure and safe and snug and you know where you want to lay your foundations and you know where you want to go. And in fact, there may be a dream message, synchronicity or mystery that is revealed to you that shows you how to be more secure and there may be something coming into your life that that really does ground you. Hooray. Uh, Finally, on the 28th of September, the sun is trying Mars, allowing you to be strong, positive and confident about what you know and about your intuition. And you're not taking any shit either, excuse my French. You're able to go, no, that that is it. You know, this is who I am, but in a positive way. And you're able to rise above... Any issues that have been bothering you, you're also able to come back into your power. You know, you faced a lot of fears and you're through it now. You know, you're Dorothy on the way back home to Oz, a wiser uh, being and with a deeper awareness of life's mysteries. Profound. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there. (laughs) 